Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer here from the Deschutes Brewing Company. I've had this before, a couple different vintages, and I had some over at their brewery, or brew house, I guess, in Portland, Oregon. This is Black Butte, all right? This is the 34th anniversary Imperial Porter, and this is coming in at a sessionable 11% alcohol, so perfect. There we go. From Bend, Oregon. Let's crack it open and have a little taste. Just like that. There we go. There we go. Put the rest in there. Here we are. This is some Joy Division. Saturday, Saturday, Father's Day weekend. Just bought a lawnmower, new one for the first time. I always bought like used ones, but new lawnmowers are fucking ridiculously priced. Absolutely, I don't. The world I grew up in is dead. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I just, it's a shock to the system, man. All right, let's check it out. Cheers. Mmm. Nice little buff of ethanol alcohol wafting through the palate. Like wow, that's awesome. A lot of char, smoke, coffee kind of vibe coming out of this. You almost say a hint of green coffee too, mixing with like a, an espresso kind of vibe. Nuances of like a little bit nuances of caramel coming with that, mixing together. Oh wow. Let's see if we can get some information for you. I forgot. Um, porter brewed with chocolate, coffee, vanilla, milk, sugar, and aged in bourbon barrels from Deschutes Brewing Company. They're from Bend, Oregon, I believe. Yep, Bend, Oregon. DeschutesBrewery.com. All right. I know I didn't say that, so here it is. I get smoke, char, all those nice things. A little like a little notes of burnt caramels and stuff. I don't get a full bourbon nuance to this one and it looked but it poured a bit thin it's really it's it's nice it's a nice easy drinking beer for 11 percent too you don't get it initially but the back end has some really nice flavors chocolate coffees those kind of things I'm not really pulling a super like full vanilla but there is a nice little bit of a sweetness in there where that's it's shining just a hair again i'm not really getting a full-on bourbon barrel age thing but it definitely is a bit thin medium side of a medium body at best i've had these in the past and they were not this thin or i would have remembered that but now they're mass marketing it small bottles the whole thing Every, keep shit in big bottles and only release them very sparingly per year keep shit special i mean come on now guys whatever it's still not too bad or anything like that cheers to our 34th anniversary this is uh, this imperial Homage to Black Butte Porter. This year we took inspiration from the dessert tiramisu, which translates into Italian means cheer me up. Raise a glass, raise your spirits. So here you go. It's a nice beer. It's an easy drinking beer. Uh, I wouldn't pay a lot for this beer now. Like, I would pay $20 a, 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 a bomber for this at times, depending, because it was really, really fucking good. What I'm drinking right now is a $13.99 six pack that's what you became that's what this beer has became rather it it just it's it's a 13.99 or 15 dollar six pack congratulations you know you get more beer don't get me wrong for 15 bucks if this is that's that's the price value of this beer right now to me you get or like a 13.99 four pack or a 15 dollar six pack or whatever i think it comes in six packs i have no problem buying this and crushing it killing the whole fucking six pack 
However, it's not because I'm here to session and I'm here to session. It's not here. I'm not, I'm not here to savor every sip, enjoy the bottle, do all those things like I was initially with Black Butte um, uh, when I had it back in the day. It, like, like I wouldn't care. I don't care about putting one in the cellar and aging it now. I don't care about that. It doesn't have the doesn't it emphasize that need to do that now. Tasting this. That's a shame. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. I'm going to give it, uh, overall, Imperial Porter. Like I said, the bourbon barrel is not kind of like not there. Body's a bit thin. Flavors are alright. Nothing too bad. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. This has been 8 out of 10 for the 34th anniversary of Black Butte. The Shoots Brewing Company. It's been Paul's Paper News. Cheers. Bye-bye. What's up here? Bye-bye.